All right, I'm doing another touch IC repair here, and uh, I just tore one of these pads. Uh, I don't think I did it. I think it was already torn. And it's a pretty common pad to tear. This one, right, this one right here, this one's uh, not connected to anything. So I'm going to show you guys how to run a jumper, okay? And the method that I use to run a jumper, all right? So this pad leads to this little... There's a little trace right here that goes to another pad, okay? So what I normally do is I'll just scrape this pad off right here to expose the copper. Can you see that? That's copper right there. And let me get my... So put a little bit of uh, flux on it. And just kind of tin the pad a little bit. And I'm gonna I'm I like using um, lead free solder because it heats doesn't heat as fast as the lead leaded that way I can kind of control control it Let me try my pencil. Maybe that'll work a little better. You really just want to tin it, okay? So that's tinned. Alright, that's definitely tinned there. So what I like using is um, a piece of solder wick. And the one I like to use is the Gootwick because uh, the Gootwick frays a lot and it's easy to get the little piece of jumper wire out. So you can't see it, but I'm cutting off a little bit of solder wick. So there we go, and I am going to go ahead and Alright, so that's pretty solid right there. And I am, let's see, going to go like this. And I'm just going to kind of run it like this and maybe try to twirl it around a little bit. And uh, hopefully maybe tin it. That's just way too long right there. So. As you can see, it's a little bit of a pain in the arse. Um, <laughs> this is the shittiest part of this, actually. I hate running these damn things. Alright, so let's... Uh, All right, so that's good. Um, let's let's break off this piece too. This one will be a little easier since that side is soldered. So he's got wiglet until it breaks, and then this one right here. Let's see if we can tin it without disrupting. And for that one, I'm just going to tin it with some 6337. 
hopefully without disrupt without getting that water wire gone like I'm just gonna use this as a heat sink a little bit and just kind of tin it all right so that is tinned I'm also going to tin these add an extra layer of solder to these pads here so that uh, I know that the solder will stick to it these these are the pads that corro you know has has the most corrosion you know so I'm gonna make sure there's a ball of solder on this pad so that when I put the chip on it's gonna stick to it I don't really want to mess with that anymore too much Gently. And if you're ambitious, you can also run a jumper from here to here, uh, which I can do actually. You know what? Let's just do that. Fuck it. That'll make sure that I'm good. All right, so here we go. that lint out of the way first so again I'm going to use lead free solder here just because it it melts slower and uh, you know when I put the chip on I want it to melt a little slower I think I need a little bit of flux. Ain't. That's the problem with this pencil here. It's just not good with the heat. I mean this That's not a very good joint right there. I'm going to use some 6337. I think my tips are jacked up, man. I just bought these freaking tips, too. Piss me off. Okay, so that's good. And I'm just going to do this.
Okay. Alright, so I'm definitely going to use, um, I'm definitely going to use uh, a rebald chip here because Okay, so that's good. I'm just going to apply a little heat to it just to kind of get the flow going a little bit better before I put the chip on. Otherwise, when I put the chip on, it's going to heat it and then who knows what's going to happen to it. All right, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I think that's good. I am going to reball my chip now and put it put it back on. And we will go from there. Shit. It's hard to clean these damn stencils, man. Oh, nice. All right, Maybe this is better. Okay.
I mean, if you want, you can test the leads on these just to make sure they're getting continuity. So this goes to here. So that's good. All right, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna check for you know just for a short, just because when you run these jumpers, you don't want you don't want that second pin uh, short in the ground. Okay, so that's not shorted, and that's good. Okay, so that's really about it. Let's test it now, and uh, I'm not going to test in front of you guys. You guys have seen enough of these mason repairs. I mean, these touch IC repairs. So I'm going to call it a day on this. I really just wanted to show you guys how to run a jumper.